So today I'll be doing a quick unboxing and this is going to be pretty quick because I already did the Core i3 540, but this is the Core i3 530. So this one runs at 2.93 gigahertz. It has hyperthreading, but no turbo boost functionality, much like the other Core i3 processors that are available, or processor, the 540. Now, the Core i3 processors, what is so unique about them, as I did mention in the other unboxing, is that they do include an onboard graphics chip. So if you use this in conjunction with an H55 motherboard, or H57, when those are finally available, you will be able to take advantage of the onboard graphics, including HDMI out, DVI out. Some of them even have display port out which is kind of cool. So the first thing you'll find in the box is your Core i3 processor installation instructions, your three-year warranty information, as well as your, uh, oh that's actually like stickered shut for some reason, as well as your Intel Core i3 case sticker. Very cool. And then the next thing you will find is nothing else in the box. This plastic clamshell which includes your CPU which we'll have a look at in just a moment, as well as an incredibly weak looking CPU cooler. I mean it really does speak, for one thing, to how little heat output that you see from the Core i3 processors. But if you look, that like it, it's not much thicker than my finger is wide, actually, here. If I hold that at the front there, you can get a better perspective on it. So there's not a whole lot of metal involved. There's no copper core on this cooler. It does come with pre-applied thermal compound. So if you are just buying the chip and you're just going to use the stock cooler, you just plunk that right on. This will spread itself out from the mounting pressure. And I really do recommend, especially if you're going to be, um, actually, okay, if you're overclocking these chips, buy a different cooler. If you're not overclocking them, you can use it with this one, but it's not going to be the quietest, it's not going to be the coolest, etc, etc. So here's the Core i3-530 itself. This is the lowest end Core i3 as of the time of doing this unboxing, but there is a Pentium dual core variant available, but I wouldn't really recommend that one because the Core i3s really do offer a great price to performance ratio. This is an LGA 1156 chip, so you can see there are 1,156 pads on the back of this processor, which make contact with your motherboard. It's supported by all of the H55, P55, and H57 boards, like I said, when those are available on the market at this time. And thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Core i3-530.